sister wants to say hi. Hi everyone, I am Claire's sister Sarah. Make sure y'all subscribe to my sister's channel. <laughs> and um, make sure y'all press the like button and uh, y'all leave a comment below. <laughs> Do all of those things that she said. My sister is helping me film today, guys. So she's uh, being my camera woman. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. In Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my wearable everyday go-to makeup look and I've been loving it recently and I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, let's get right into it. First product that I'm using today is my Milani Prime Perfection Primer. And this primer is amazing because it hydrates the skin and it it also minimizes pores. So I'm going to put that on my face using my Kabuki brush from Sigma Beauty. This is the F80 flat top Kabuki brush. I'm going to blend this onto the face so our makeup stays on all day long. So now I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Vanilla and I'm going to apply that to my F80 brush from Sigma. Not usually how I apply this foundation, but my beauty blenders are all out of commission right now. They are all dirty. I'm going to start by just stippling it in because I find if you just, if you use swiping motions with this foundation, it can get streaky and we don't want that. So I'm just lightly patting it in and then I'm going to go back in with another brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of the foundation and apply it to the areas where it didn't cover as much. I'd rather apply this with a beauty blender, but as I said, all of my beauty blenders are dirty. So I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory. And I love this for concealing. It's amazing. It has a little bit of a peachy tone, which cancels out dark circles. Now I'm going to go in using my Wet n Wild highlighting and concealing pen. This is in the shade Ivory Into You. I don't know if you can see that. It's really tiny letters, but it's a really great concealer. Now I'm going to blend out my concealer using my Morphe G2 brush. And I love this brush because it's like a beauty blender on a stick and I love it. Yes! And I, I used to be a huge fan of Weed Kings. I mean, I'm still a huge fan of Weed Kings. So now I'm going to take my Cody Airspun powder in, in translucent extra coverage and set the under eye area. And I'm using the G2 brush that we wet before. So now I'm just taking an excess amount of powder and putting it under my eye. To set the concealer and then putting it on my forehead as well. Whoa! Setting where the contour is. My nose. A beauty blender would do a better job at this. For the rest of my face, I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light and use my G7 brush from Morphe to set the rest of my face where we didn't put the air spun. And wipe away some of the hair spot as well. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Base in the shade Original. Now I'm going to blend out my eyeshadow primer using my M224 brush from Morphe. So, nice. You want some help with that? Uh, you just out here. I don't need no help from you. I'm going to dust away the air spot using my NYX Highlighting and Contouring Palette. And I'm going to use the yellow shade right there on my E48 brush from Morphe brushes. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is my favorite palette that they have in the Chocolate Bar series. And I'm going to take set my eyeshadow primer down with my E55 brush from Sigma. I'm going to use the shade White Chocolate. 
To take away excess powder, I'm going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm going to go in with my M518 brush from Morphe and I'm going to use I'm going to use salted caramel as my transition shade, which is one of my favorite transition shades from Too Faced. Next, I'm going to go in with my E27 from Morphe. I'm going to go in with chocolate and put that in the crease. This is one of my favorite brushes for the crease because it really helps blend it out and it's really fluffy. Now I'm going to take my E35 brush from Sigma and I'm going to blend out those two colors. This is my go-to blending brush just to, to clean everything up so we have nice clean lines. I'm going to go in with Cherry Cordial and put that on the outer corner. And now I'm going to go back in with my E35 brush from Sigma and blend it out. I'm going to go in with Semi Sweet and deep deepen it up a little bit more. So this color right here on my Makeup Geek Defined crease brush. I'm going to go back in with my M210 from Morphe and I'm going to take a little bit of the Cherry Cordial and deepen up the other corner. And I'm going to use my E13 from Morphe to blend that out. I'm going to use my M441 from Morphe and I'm going to go in with milk chocolate and blend that out a bit more. Next, I'm going to go back in with white chocolate on my E55 brush from Sigma Beauty and and I'm going to pat that all over the all over the eyelid. Now I'm just going to clean up around my bow, brow bone, my bow bone, my brow bone. Now I'm going to bronze with my Too Faced Melt Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I love this bronzer because it's not too much of a cool tone, it's not too warm, it's really really good. So. M527 from Morphe and just warm up the face. Now I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cheekathon palette and I'm going to contour using Hula, Hula bronzer, and I'm going to contour with my M530 brush from Morphe is my favorite and Nikki Tutorials' favorite um, bronzer. Our favorite brush to contour with. So I'm just starting at my ear and working my way down. You mix the gray with Jesus Baba. Now I'm going to contour my nose using the Hula bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose with my E30. Now I'm going to take the banana shade from the NYX contour palette, contour and highlighting kit, and I'm going to I'm going to clean up around my contour. 
Now I'm going to apply my Scandal Eyes Waterproof Call Gel Pencil by Rimmel in the shade Nude. It, any nude pencil will awaken your eyes, so it'll bring your eyes out. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel Exaggerate Pencil in Blackest Black, and I'm going to put that on the outer third of my And I'm also going to tight line with this. Next, I am going to do my eyebrows. So, now I'm going to take my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in chocolate, or chocolat, as this. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows. Alright, now I'm going to brush them. Now I'm going to brush my brows out to make them even. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Stylist Brow Plumper, which is my favorite brow mascara in the whole wide world. And this is in the shade light medium. <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a there was a fly on the screen door because there's a screen door right next to me where I'm filming, and my dog she was trying to eat a fly that was outside the door, and she was like hop, hop, out the door. Blush. <laughs> I'm going to take between the sheets from ColourPop and apply that to the cheek. And I'm going to use my E4 brush from Morphe to apply it. I'm going to take Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild and I'm going to apply that to the cheeks because I don't think but between the sheets was that pigmented. And this stuff is pie Look at this. Ooh, girl, yes. Yes, semi-sweet and then milk chocolate on the lower lash line. I'm going to apply my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to do a wing today. A very small wing, hopefully. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm going to use my M501 from Morphe to apply that. And I'm going to take Sunburst and Bubbly. And I got some makeup remover on it. So I'm just going to mix those two and apply it to my cheekbones. Now I'm going to take my M431 from Morphe and I'm going to take bubbly and highlight the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone. We'll brighten up our eye. Now I'm going to go in with my Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara from Maybelline. Apply that to the lashes. For lower lashes, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Today, I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Aries. This is the lipstick that Manny MUA created with Ofra. Use the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Samantha. It's a really nice peachy nude shade. And this is the finished look. guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below with what tutorial you would like to see next on this channel and yeah subscribe if you have not already and also all of my social media links are over here as always don't forget to follow me on Twitter Instagram Facebook and snapchat 
those are all some versions of Victoria Claire, except for my Snapchat, which is We The Claire X3. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you all on Friday with a brand new video. Bye! Hi everyone! Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. There are two videos on your screen right now. The video on the left is my extended inner corner eye makeup tutorial and the video on the right is my first impression on the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. If you'd like to see those videos, you can click directly on them and the annotations will take you to those videos and the subscribe button is above those two videos above those two videos so so please subscribe if you have not already and i will see you all on friday with a brand new video bye